Hello everyone. So I just want to make a really quick video showing how the manual release on an outboard motor works. These are two 40 horsepower Evinrude outboards and um, they actually have two different models of trim. So uh, on my uh, primary motor right here, this is the screw for the manual release. So uh, when you want the motor to stay in whatever position you have it up, uh, up or down, you screw this in and it will not move. Now to move the motor, you simply unscrew this about four or five turns and the motor will now be able to lift or lower. So uh, it, it's kind of very slow, so if you're lifting it, don't expect it to go up quickly. It has the hydraulics, so it kind of moves up very slow, and if it's all the way up and you turn the, turn the screw, it will also lower very slowly, so it will kind of very gently go down. And um, this way, when it reaches the main position, kind of all the way down, you screw this back in, and the motor is all set and good to go. It, it will be locked in place. Now, I have another motor, and the power trim on this is actually different. So if we come over to this side, I'm not sure if this is an aftermarket one or not, but there is no manual release screw you can see right away. However, it is actually there. It's, you, you probably can't see it, but it's in through this hole, so it's actually on the side. And this is why I'm suspecting this is an aftermarket unit, because there is no way to reach this screw. I've read online some people manage to turn this um, kind of through the odd angle, because it doesn't actually align with this hole. It's kind of slightly in between these two holes. Um, I actually took this whole entire assembly apart and the screw also had a ring around it So even if you were able to turn it the ring would still prevent it from uh, being kind of turned correctly So I removed the ring and I tested it But when I put it back I still cannot reach here with a screwdriver now at this point I think uh, the best workaround would probably be to drill a little hole here or kind of enlarge this hole just a little bit so that you could reach here, but um for a while I wasn't really sure how the manual release op operated on this motor as it's kind of hidden and if it's you know, not bright daylight. You, even if you look in this hole, it's pretty hard to see it. But there is a little screw in there, and that's where you're supposed to turn. So it operates exactly the same way as this motor, except the screw is in a completely different location. And, I, and this is why I think it's an aftermarket part, because there's no way Evinrude or OMC designed this so that you can't reach the screw. That makes no sense at all. So if you're wondering how to raise or lower your motor without using the power trim and just do it by hand this is how it's done and remember it is pretty heavy I think one person can do it it's not an easy task but it's definitely much easier with two people I just want to make one more quick note be very careful not to unscrew the manual release screw too much because especially if the motor is up or even if it's just down there's a chance that it'll pop out and all the hydraulic fluid will flow out and um, so just when you unscrew it just unscrew it a little bit and if you're not sure just keep pressure on it because the hydraulic fluid will burst out and you will have to refill the entire machine.